All right, guys, welcome back. Western Sharpies RC, glad you could join me for uh, another video here. Continuing on with the Akko trailer, come along pretty good. So I thought I'd stop and uh, share with you guys where I'm at before I continue on. Um, got the main body pretty much finished uh, with the exception of a roof and a floor, which I don't know what I'm gonna use yet, but I think for the floor, this stuff here would work pretty good. It's nice and sturdy and uh, kind of looks like a floor. Whatever this stuff's called, hardboard or particle board or something. But anyway, guys, this is where I'm at so far. Um, I've made a few mistakes on this naturally, I guess, the first time you make something. You make mistakes. Uh, so I've gone around to uh, try to improve some of them uh, on the second version. It's printing right now, but this one's still pretty good. Um, I hit it with a a coat of high build primer because um, the panels are actually on the sides. There's actually two of them CA glued together because uh, the, the, the length is 38 centimeters and the print bed only accommodates 30. So I had to make it in two pieces. Um, so I put this seam there where I thought would be best, kind of along one of these humps. That way you can get the putty in there and uh, do some sanding and once it's all painted up, you probably wouldn't even know it's there, but you know, it's far from perfect. You know, even if you look on the inside here, look at that. I've got some cancerous looking bits in there, which is not really my fault. I'd say the printer does some weird things sometimes. Can't explain it, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal because it's on the inside for one. And uh, number two, I'm actually gonna detail my interior. Uh, I think I'm gonna put some wallpaper up on there. So you won't even see it anyway. But anyway, I'd like to offer this in some kind of form. Uh, I'm thinking the panels uh, to the customer. I've had some uh, interest on my Facebook page. So I'm just kind of figuring all that out now. And then you can uh, assemble it yourself and you can make it as detailed or as uh, simple as you like. Like I said, I'd like to have an interior and put lights and all that in mind. So uh, I thought I'd include all this footage should you choose to maybe refer to my video here and uh, get some ideas. Um, so I Pulled out some things from my parts bin that I think might work on this thing. I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but anyway, just to show you some of them. Uh, they're going to go into the interior. Lots of times you see these trailers um, used as office trailers or whatever, right? So I want to have a table and chairs and artwork and, uh, you know, maybe an old TV in there. Put a clock on the wall. Some decor and stuff like that. Like I said, I want to have lights in mind, so... I pulled these things out, these high bay lights that I made way back. Uh, little vents and stuff like that for the roof, maybe. Not too sure. Some artwork for the walls. That looks kind of construction-y, right? Um, what else do I got here? Some little dollhouse uh, hinges for the door. Some little handles I found that might work for some cabinetry. I don't know yet, little flower pots. Um, I was even thinking for this, uh, using this uh, frame portion of a parts tree as conduit. Um, maybe I'll print up some light switches and some plugs. I found this old box of uh, cat food. Maybe there's an old, a dirty old construction cat hanging around there that they feed. But anyway guys, uh, I don't know. We'll all figure that out as I go. And uh, right now I just wanted to show you this part of it. So like I said, uh, two pieces to make up each side and then each end, that end doesn't have anything on there. And then this end here has the, the little AC unit, which what I'm gonna be doing now is printing up a little uh, frame that it can sit on. And then that'll pretty much be, I think, what's included. I'd like to make a set of stairs, um, design something and print. I made these out of spare parts you can see that is from, uh, where is it? Play Mobile. I had that in my parts bin. So I used that and then just kind of uh, made something out of some styrene pieces, but I'd like to ideally print something. But uh, I mean, you, you might not necessarily want to have your trailer kind of like this. Lots of times they're, you know, they're hauled around on flatbeds or they're built up on uh, wood frames and stuff like that and different heights and all that. So. Anyway, another thing I'll mention too, I think what might work or might be cool is 
you can actually just take as many of these panels as you like and then uh, make this thing as long as you want because lots of times you see there's more than one door on one side and so on. So um, as Bob Ross says, right, it's your world. But in my world right now, it's just looking like this. Anyway, guys, um, eventually I'll get, uh, I'll get it figured out and I'll post some uh, pics and maybe a photo album on my Facebook page with some prices and all that, but I'm not quite there yet. I still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this thing. But I hope you enjoyed the video and um, that's it for this one. I'll keep plugging away and we'll see you in the next one.